Anderson Bean is famous for making quality boots right here in the USA. And today, I got a pair of Full Quill Ostrich Anderson Bean boots that we're gonna be doing an extended test review for, but this is also a giveaway opportunity. That's right, you have a chance to win a brand new pair in your size, courtesy of Carter's Boots. Let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya. Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig. Thank you for tuning in today. I'm really excited to get into these Anderson Bean Full Quill Ostrich boots. You see, Anderson Bean has been on the channel before when I visited stores out west and done quick impressions in the store, but I haven't had a chance to try some for an extended period of time, and that's what this video is for, so I'm pumped. But I'm also really excited because this is a giveaway video as well. That's right, if you're watching this video within the first couple weeks of it being posted, then you have a chance to win a brand new pair in your size, courtesy of cartersboots.com. Carter's Boots is a store and repair shop in Bozeman, Montana. It's a great spot. I was there last year, but they also have a website, cartersboots.com. So if you need to get repairs done to your cowboy boots, maybe some new outsoles or some heel repair, definitely consider Carter's Boots, but they also sell boots online and in store as well, including Anderson Bean, Hondo, and their own line of boots made in the USA. And you can save 10% when you use my code Jeremiah Craig at checkout, which goes a long way, especially on Anderson Bean boots. Thank you so much to cartersboots.com for making this giveaway possible. Now it's time to jump into the details of this full quill ostrich boot. It's time for the rundown. Yes, this is an Anderson Bean full quill ostrich boot. It's got full quill ostrich on the vamp and the counter, and it's soft and supple, just like how you like to see ostrich. The color is a rum brown, and it's really nice. It's not too light and not too dark. I'm digging this color. It also features a wide square toe with a double stitched welt which is pretty ordinary for Anderson Bean. Speaking of that welt though, it looks a little bit wavy in areas, which is probably due to some hasty finishing, but it shouldn't alter the quality of the rest of the boot any. The boot stands at 13 inches tall with a chocolate cowhide leather top and a beautiful yellow side seam going right down the middle. We also got a Stockman heel of bonded leather. It does kind of look like stacked leather, but I called to confirm with Carter's Boots and they said yes, that it is bonded leather. It's just stacked bonded leather. And bonded leather is a way to save on the scraps and the sawdust, the leather dust. They're able to mix all those scraps with glue and then produce a leather heel still. And this heel is actually made close to where I am right now in Massachusetts at Montello Heel, which is really cool because Anderson Bean is also known for using all US suppliers. For an outsole, it's leather. You love to see it. Leather outsole with lemon wood pegs down there as well. So this is very traditionally built. On the inside, we got a leather lining and it's super soft on the top and around the foot. For an insole, we got a removable foam insole with a cloth top, but it's nothing like too crazy special. It just gives you a little bit of padding there. And underneath that, you have a traditional hard leather insole. So you could wear these boots without the insole here because you still have a heel pad underneath that removable insole. I would say that if you wanted to wear the boot without the removable insole and just go with the hard leather, that you size down a half a size, which is what I did with these. Like I said, these boots are made in the USA and use all US suppliers, and they're coming in at $600 at cartersboots.com, but when you use my code Jeremiah Craig at checkout, that'll save you 10% and bring these down to around 540. Now it's time to try this boot on to see how it looks and feels. All right, I got the Anderson Bean Full Quill Ostrich boots on right now, and I'm really liking this color, guys. It looks great. I'm wearing it right now with the Wrangler 13 MWZ Trail Dust color. 
jeans and uh, it's working really well here. I'm digging the color, I'm digging the feeling. I took the insoles out. I can't wear these with the insoles because they're too small. I got the size 10 and a half D and I was able to try some Anderson beans at stores across the country um, last June. And that's also when I visited Carter's Boots and uh, I tried some Anderson beans out at some different places. I tried an 11 D with the insole at Pete's Clothing and I tried out a 10 and a half D at Lou Talbert's. You can see both those videos in the description. And I liked the feeling of the 10 and a half D without the insole. So I decided to get another one here through Carter's and it was a great decision. It was just great. I love the hard leather insole. It's gonna form to your foot over time and I'm really looking forward to that happening with this ostrich boot. Speaking of the ostrich, super supple, exactly what you wanna feel from ostrich, if not even better. Like it feels incredible. I can't wait to wear this for an extended period of time. Uh, it's gonna be great. Here's the POV, a classic Anderson Bean square toe. I mean, you can special order different toe shapes, but uh, you know, this is the one that you're gonna find most frequently. And uh, you can't really tell the wavy welt here. Um, it probably should straighten out during the extended test. We'll have to see about that, but it's looking good. Speaking of, we have to take these Anderson beans on an adventure so we're going to get into that now you'll have to wait until the end to learn how you can enter to win a pair for yourself it's extended test time i was in a small business america mood as i headed to jamaica plain neighborhood in boston since carter's boots is a small business and anderson bean supports american small business by using u.s suppliers i wanted to get the small business community experience so today i'll be shadowing ian drake owner of diversity consignment Ian owns multiple small shops around Boston, but at Diversity Consignment, you can find dresses, shirts, hats, jackets, vinyl, and even some boots too. Plus he carries clothes and jewelry by local designers and pieces by local artists as well. He's got great taste in music too. The first thing for the shop owner experience is to put the sidewalk sign out on this beautiful morning. For the next task, I had to fill up a container of water for a device I never used before. It was a steamer, and after reinstalling the small water tank and turning it on, I quickly got to work steaming the clothes on the rack, which gets rid of wrinkles and cleans it a little bit. It took me a minute to get used to it, and I only burned myself once, which helped me learn how to use it even faster. <laughs> which is good because I was able to work my way through most of this rack in just over an hour or so. After the clothes were steamed, it was time to tag them before hitting the rack so they could be tied to the inventory after purchase. The tags are then attached to the clothes with a tag gun, complete with a high capacity magazine of plastic ties. Ian showed me how to use it quick and I found that it was pretty simple. Actually, the hardest part was not using it, rather it was trying to find which tags belong to which piece of clothing. I knew the NASCAR shirt would be easy for me though. Next up was doing some pricing on vintage vinyl records. All records have codes on the side of the sleeve or on the vinyl itself, and Diversity Consignment uses Discogs, which is a popular way for vinyl enthusiasts to price albums. I input the code and the website supplies common prices based on quality. Then I stuck the sticker on the cover. Maybe cowboy boot enthusiasts need a website like this when selling vintage boots. Then a seller came in to see if they could get any of their vintage clothing in the store. So I was tested on what might be a good fit. First was the Python print Steve Madden shoes. Python print is always in, so I figured this would be a good thing for diversity consignment to stock. After that, I looked at a polo shirt with a cool pattern, but it had some stains, so I said no dice for this one and they agreed. After that, I found this. Grandma sweater? No dice on that either. Sorry all you Grandma Sweater Fest fans out there. 
With the new clothing in, it was time to input it into the inventory program so that more tags could be printed off and attached to the clothing and the shoes. Once I had the new products in the system, it was time to put some stuff out that was tagged earlier that day. Shorts go on the rack. And the vinyl goes downstairs. I had a great experience shadowing Ian for the day and getting an inside look at life as a small business shop owner. Small businesses are the true spirit of American towns across this nation and so much hard work goes into each and every one of them. Huge thanks to Ian Drake and Diversity Consignment for letting me work there for a day for this extended test. I have a link to their website in the description where you can learn more about them and purchase new and vintage clothing and vinyl. Now on to my final thoughts for this Anderson Bean Full Quill Ostrich Boot. So I've visited many boot stores all across the country and so many owners or managers at these boot stores wear Full Quill Ostrich Boots. And I always thought that it was like a way for them to sell more Full Quill Ostrich Boots, which might be the case, but working at a shop for an entire day for the first time in my life, I also understand that it's a comfort thing too. This Anderson Bean is so soft, so simple. It's seriously on the comfort level of slippers. And this ostrich leather is some of the best that I've ever tried. I took the insoles out, as you guys remember from the beginning, and I have no regrets. Technically, I'm a B-width, but Carter's doesn't sell this boot in a B-width. Still, I'm able to size down with a D-width and have it work out really well because of the lower heel and because there's not too much of an arch in here. It's very roper style on the inside too, as well as on the outside with this lower heel. So sometimes when I size down, and go with a hard leather insole, that traditional, that arch will kind of be a little bit weird and in the wrong place, but that's not the case with this Full Quill Ostrich Anderson Bean boot, so I'm really looking forward to wearing this a lot. Speaking of wearing these a lot, I wore these on and off for the past month, and that leather footbed in here is taking shape beautifully, and I can't wait until the end of the year when it will be even better. A small detail that I found on this Anderson Bean is that the heel rand is just straight leather, so this little spur shelf right here, a lot of brands will put a, a small piece of plastic on the heel back here to help protect that ledge from spurs or from you kicking it off the boots with your other foot so the plastic is just like a nice little shield to protect that leather it just creates a really nice clean look back here that you don't see with many other brands including those made in the US like Tony Lama and Blackjack the wavy welt finish down here bothered me sometimes but at other times I didn't even really notice and since they left the natural edge on this sole here, I could potentially take a fine piece of sandpaper and just sand that down even to the rest of the outsole and edge of this boot, so it's not that big of a deal. I have looked at other boots from the Anderson Bean family of brands and noticed similar sloppy or hasty finishing, but it doesn't really ever affect the overall quality or construction of the boot. Still, it's something that I feel like I need to mention for this review, and I'm curious if it's a deal breaker for you. Let me know down in the comments. I just think it's a small detail that if given the attention, it would take this boot to that next level of perfection for me. The colors are awesome though. I really like this yellow side seam piping down the side and on the top too. It contrasts really cool with the chocolate top and the rum brown ostrich. Plus it's taller than a lot of the average wide square toe roper style boots out there at 13 inches. Many will be like 10 inches tall and in a boot that short, sometimes when you try to stack your jeans, those jeans will just fall into the top of the boot and create a bucket effect and it just looks awful. But because this boot is much taller, uh, three inches taller, the jeans are able to fall over the top of this boot and not get hung up at the top and fall in. So it creates a really, really good look. So overall, I'm a pretty big fan of these Anderson Bean Full Quill Ostrich Boots. 
and you have a chance to win a pair for yourself if you're watching this video within the first couple of weeks of it being posted. You gotta do three things to enter to win a brand new pair in your size. Number one, like this video right now so it gets out to the world and more people here on YouTube. Number two, make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you're not, head down there and hit that subscribe button. And number three, fill out the form at the link in the description. I got some questions for you and I also need your email so I can contact you if you win. I'll announce the winner on a Boots and Ballads live stream event on Friday, April 29th, starting at 8 p.m. Eastern. I'll be playing music, talking boots, giving stuff away, and so much more. You can't miss it. This giveaway is open to both men and women, and Carter's will provide a women's size of this boot if a lucky lady wins. Also, Carter's will only ship boots to a winner with an American address. Don't worry, all you international folks out there. All you need is a friend in America with an American address to help finish the shipment to you. I can't do it, and Carter's can't do it. There's too much risk. If you don't have an American friend with an address here in America, then go on over to my Facebook Cowboy Boot Group and link up with somebody. Join and post, hey, can anybody help me if I happen to win? And organize it that way. There's lots of possibilities to get you the boots if you happen to win. Huge thanks to cartersboots.com for partnering with me on this giveaway. Please consider supporting them by taking your repair business to them or by purchasing new boots or boot care products from their online store. And don't forget to use my code Jeremiah Craig at checkout to save 10%. Thanks so much for watching today. Good luck in the giveaway and I will see you next time. Peace. These AB ostrich are so comfortable. The leather's soft, supple, and wonderful. High grade, US made. It's a great boot for every day. Yes. Why don't you check out this other video up here that I did at the Carter store? It's about a pair of Hondo shark skin boots. Or I got a music video down here I think you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe over here. And I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching, and good luck in the giveaway. Peace. Have a good one.